Hello, today we're taking a look at Super Vectorizer. This is a Mac application for the graphic design space. If you work anywhere with vector art or illustrations, this is a really great tool. It's a professional vector tracing tool that enables conversion from a bitmap image like a JPEG, BMP, or PNG, and allows you to uh, conver uh, convert that image into a vector art in one click process. And what's so great about this, it supports a ton of formats for you to import from JPEG, PNG, GIF, uh, you know, SRW files, just a ton of different image formats out there. The interface is even better because it's so simple. It's so easy to use. You have your original preview window here and then your result window, and then you have the ability to import an image, export it. You can choose between two modes when it comes to vectorization. You can do edge detection or the color detection. You can adjust the parameters based on that. Uh, for So that said, let's go ahead and just import an image to showcase how well it does here. So we're going to go ahead and drop this car in and you can see the original, here's the original car. And then keep in mind, you can easily just pan around here, zoom, you get the dimensions of the image down here. You can even jump into full screen mode if you'd like. And just really take a look at the image here. And you're going to see, I can jump into the preview window and it shows what a preview of what the outline may look like. And then from there, I can jump into the result. So the end result, you can see how well of a job it did. Zooming in, you can see how well it defined the lines. And keep in mind here, this is edge detection mode. So from there, I can adjust the threshold. If I lower the threshold, you can see how much more detail it brings into it. So by lowering the threshold, it gets more of the lines, it gets the tire tread, things of that nature. If I higher the threshold, let's say I just wanted a basic outline of the car, then I can you know raise the threshold and then get that vectorization done and complete. And you can see how fast it does that. Literally jumps from preview to result in a couple seconds because the image vectorization engine is that fast. You can as well jump into the color detection mode and adjust things here. You can do a stack scan or a gray scan depending on what you know how you want to set it here. Uh, you can set it into the, the either mode again adjusting it right there. You can adjust the color number right here and again you can see how well it does here vectorizing the colors and detecting the colors. It looks really really great here and then you can adjust last but not least the smooth radius. So how smooth you kind of want it to look here. You can widen that radius or you can kind of lessen it and adjust depending on your preferences here. And again, here's the end result on the color mode. Here's the original. You can see how fast it did that and how great it looks. Whether you are doing this for personal or professional projects, I just really enjoy this as far as a utility and tool because it's one click. It's simple. You don't have to worry about too many, you know, uh, tools to use. You just have the basics. You have the ability to just adjust on a basic slider, which makes it that much more easier. You have a ton of support for importing uh, multiple image files in different formats. And then of course, when you're all done, you hit that export button and then you have the option to export it in PDF, SVG, AI, or a DXF file. And it's that simple, that easy with Super Vectorizer. Definitely worth checking out. You can find it in the Mac App Store.